What's up guys, Headphones Neil here with an app review for a app that got an update um, this week to mixed reviews as far as the feature set that it provided. Um, so I'm going to jump into it. In this case, it's going to be the um, version 7 of Pocket Cast for Android. Um, I think the iOS version is also released or is coming soon, but if you've been on the beta version of Pocket Cast and you've already seen this layout... Um, for me, the biggest thing is that they fixed a lot of bugs with the beta program, so a lot of issues that I had early on are, have been fixed. So one of the things that you'll notice is that instead of the menu from the that slides in from the left, you now have icons on the bottom that take you directly to your pod, subscribe podcast, to any playlists and filters you have set up, the discover tab, and your profile page. So um, with that, I'm going to jump into some of the f new features and changes and things like that that you'll notice. Um, so, of course, the podcast page that you subscribe to is now more front and center. So it's, th it's that much easier to get through. So if you want to look at um, episodes that you've listened to, new episodes, um, existing episodes and things like that, um, it's easier to get through so you can see what's going on. Um, jumping into any one of um, the app podcasts allows you to, for example, get a notification on a um, app or on a podcast by podcast basis, so you can see or get notified when those um, podcasts release new episodes. Hitting the settings icon allows you to get at notification access, set auto download, add to up next, auto archive, and things like that. Um, and then you can also subscribe and unsubscribe directly from this page. Um, hitting the arrow now also gives you more information about that podcast in, in case you don't remember what it's about or you want to see more, get links, a link to the um, podcast website. So you get a number of different, or basically you get this uh, similar to what you got before, but in a slightly different interface. For me, it's a little bit easier. I generally didn't go to this page once I've subscribed to something, but it was more for unsubscribing. But if you want to um, add items to your playlist and things like that, you can do that here. Um, to do that, all you need to do is slide left or right on um, any one of the podcasts. So you, if you sl slide from left to right, you can, for example, um, add the episode directly to the playlist. So you can either do, you can remove it like that, or you can add it to the uh, play next or um, play last. So for the for me this is the only next episode i have so it's going to add it to the next playing but you have those options um for and now let's say you there is an episode that you've listened to already or you don't want to listen to by hitting that white little tray icon on the right you can archive an episode so that way um you know that you've listened to it already and it doesn't show up as something to listen to the other part of the app that's been redesigned is the um, filters app. So this, or the, not the filters app, but the filters section, which from my understanding also works like a playlist. So for me, I have it set to show me only my downloaded um, podcast. By going into the filters, I can change the color of the icon and change the icon itself. So that's a matter of personal preference. Um, and you can set the auto download options as well. So for example, if you're gonna, if you had listened to a lot of podcasts but don't wanna download them all at the same time, you can limit it to the number of episodes. Um, and, and you can set it from anywhere to five from five to a hundred episodes. Um, otherwise, what you can also do here is um, adjust which episodes are visible. So if you want to show unplayed and in progress episodes or even played episodes, so you know that because, for example, let's say you've marked something all as read or marked all as viewed or listened to, but you want to re add something, then you can uh, have that show as well. Um, you can filter which podcasts show up. So if you want to separate them by category or by um, uh, format, like um, audio versus video, you can do that as well. Um, and basically just scrolling left and right will allow you to um, set um, which episodes show up in which playlist. Um, and then you can, of course... Um, Add playlist, but so if you hit the back arrow, you can add filters, so you can change add more filters if you so desire. 
Um, in the Discover tab, this is where the biggest change to Pocket Cast comes. So let's say you're browsing around podcasts and, for example, This American Life sticks out or someone recommended a particular episode of This American Life. What you can do is now listen to specific episodes without having to subscribe to that episode. So let's say I'm scrolling down and I want to... And the room of requirement, for example, um, sticks out to me, I can add it to my up next list so I can listen to that specific episode without subscribing to see if that particular podcast um, is of interest. And then I can then subscribe to that podcast if I so desire. Um, so that's probably one of my favorite features just because um, if someone recommends something or if there's a particular episode that someone says stands out and from there it causes me to want to subscribe, then I have that option without having to subscribe, listen to that episode, mark the other ones as read that are that may be newer than a, that episode, then unsubscribe if I don't like it. That's a lot of work just to listen to an episode. This allows me to easily just add it to my playlist and listen to that episode and um, uh, give credit to that podcast or give um, that one listen credit to that podcast. From here, everything else more or less stays the same. The playback um, screen is pretty familiar. You can click on the lines to listen to the uh, description. You can click on the that little eye thing for playback effect so you can increase or decrease the speed. Trim silence, have volume boost. You have snooze options. You can favor an episode, you can share um, the podcast or the episode or the current position, open the file in another player if you so choose. Um, so that's all more or less the same there. Um, the swiping has gone away because of the new filter rules, so there is that. The profile page does give you um, the usual stuff, so um, stats, um, downloaded items, um, starred items, listening history, and all of that. So. Um, everything that you're used to still shows up and then going into the settings allows you to set your fast forward and uh, rewind options. Um, if you want um, different options for what your uh, default row says, then you can do that. Um, you have auto archive options, appearance options. So if you want a light or dark theme, um, artwork and how that shows up. Um, notifications and all that still shows up. So you have all those different things, but the layout is star, um, quite different than what's been around for a long time in Pocket Cast. So I know this week a lot of people have had issues with the redesign. So for me, because I was on the beta, beta version and I try, got that update, or I think I stopped the beta for a while because there were a lot of filter issues, but um, because I was familiar with it, for me, the transition wasn't as bad. Um, but I do also not mind the new layout. It's a new good refresh and it is easier. Um, the one thing that it does take getting used to is, um, exiting the app. So the default view, according to Pocket Cast, is this view for what's in your current playlist and exiting the app while ideally for me heading, pressing the back button once would be nice you do have to hit the back button a few times in order to exit the app so it's probably easier just to hit your own home button so i'm hoping that maybe they'd make it a little bit easier there but um overall it is a it is nice to be able to jump directly here uh, this for me this hasn't been much of a change because usually i was on this screen anyways but um that i kind of just wanted to share um some of these some of the new looks and layouts in case you're not you don't like it or share kind of what's where everything's at just to give that overview and of course it is if you want to do that manual refresh that's the one last thing that i did mention earlier is that if you want to do a refresh all you have to do is go to your podcast screen and um, slide your finger down and it'll refresh and check for new episodes um, and then for me, based on my filters, um, any new episodes will show up here. So if I want to add, for example, Politex X3 um, to my playlist, then uh, well, it was already there. But if I want to add it, I can swipe left to right and add it. And now it's going to automatically play there. Um, so um, that makes it easy because I don't have everything automatically playing to next because I'm not always on a Wi-Fi connection. I don't want it to use up my data in that format. 
But that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, you can, of course, find me on Twitter at PatelN01. This review and all reviews can be found on YouTube at YouTube.com slash PatelN01. And of course, the website is PatelN01.com for past episodes, um, subscription links, and all of that good stuff. And of course, if you want to give something back, you can find me on PayPal at PayPal.me slash PatelN01. But that's all there is for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.